In 1975, Gary Kildell, an American computer scientist, first coined a term BIOS, and in 1981, it was inbuilt into IBM's first personal computer and gained popularity over the years, and becoming an integral part of computer. Now question is, what is BIOS? The basic input-output system, in short, BIOS is a firmware, which is used by the microprocessor to start the computer system after it is powered on. Now what is firmware? In computer world, firmware is an electronic component with embedded software instructions that provides low-level control for a device connected hardware. To embed these software instructions, Firmware is held in non-volatile memory devices such as ROM that is read-only memory, EP-ROM that is erasable programmable read-only memory or flash memory. Most of the digital devices contain firmware. The firmware of these electronic devices provides the basic control for the device. Now as a firmware, BIOS is inbuilt with a computer that is made accessible to the microprocessor on an erasable programmable read-only memory chip on the motherboard, where software instructions are permanently installed at the time of manufacture to provide basic and elementary control for the attached hardware devices such as RAM, hard drive, keyboard, mouse, printer, video adapter that is a graphics card and the sound devices. This memory chip is also known as BIOS chip, which is non-volatile, meaning that the contents in the chip are retained even after the power is turned off. Let's see how does a BIOS work. When a computer is turned on, the microprocessor passes the control to the BIOS, and then BIOS starts its work as a middleman between the operating system and the connected hardware devices. Now BIOS starts its booting up process. In this process, it first checks all the necessary attachments, whether they are in place and working correctly. This checking is called power on self test. In short, POS. If the computer passes the test, the speaker will make a short single beep indicates that the computer has passed the test. On the other hand, if there is no beep or multiple beeps, that means the computer has failed the test, indicates that something goes wrong in the hardware. To know where the problem occurs, we have to listen to the beep or beeps attentively whether it's short or long and rings single time or multiple times. According to the style of the beep or beeps, we can find out the hardware where the problem occurs by checking the beep code list in the manufactured documentations of the motherboard where BIOS is installed. Anyway, after passing the power on self test, BIOS locates the hardware that contains the file of operating system. Any piece of hardware containing the files of operating system to start the computer is called a boot device. It may be a hard drive, a DVD drive, an SSD, a pen drive or a flash drive. After locating the boot device and ensuring the OS is working correctly, BIOS loads the OS from that device. Now BIOS locates the software and the drivers that interface between the operating system and the connected hardware. After performing these three functions, BIOS has to set up some hardware settings as per the configuration made by the user. This is called CMOS setup. Little confused, right? Ok, let me explain. When the computer is turned off, it does need to maintain certain settings such as current date and time, boot sequence, fan speed and other custom hardware settings which are configured by the user. To maintain these custom settings, motherboard has a special chip 
which is called CMOS chip. The complementary metal oxide semiconductor, in short, CMOS is a volatile memory as well as it is a semiconductor. As a volatile memory, it stores the configured settings that are made by the user to the BIOS in its 256 bytes memory space and as a semiconductor, it maintains date and time after it is set by the user. But in order to maintain its content and date and time, it needs constant power from a power source like battery. So in order to maintain its contents, while the computer is turned off, a small button sized battery is used, called CMOS battery, which is located on the motherboard. Its working life is around 10 years from the time of installing on the motherboard. If the battery dies or removed and reattached, the CMOS will forget everything that configured by the user and the BIOS will make the computer ready by using its default settings from the manufacturer. On some motherboards, CMOS is located as a separate chip, however, on modern motherboards, it is integrated with the RTC, that is real-time clock, which is a part of Southbridge chipset. Now many people get confused about what the difference between BIOS and CMOS and both terms are often used to refer the same thing. But they are different. How? You already got the answer from this video.